Hello everyone and welcome to the worst channel ever. <laughs> I'm your host, Sylvan. And uh, <clears throat> today I want to talk to you about why our civilization, why our society keeps people alive uh, when the world is overpopulated and everyone is pretty much an awful cunt. Um, you know, let's, let's give some examples here. You know, we give food stamps to the homeless. Uh, we give expanded Medicaid uh, so that um, no one no one suffers medically um, we uh, uh, the emergency rooms will never turn anyone away uh, they will treat them whether they have insurance or not And we live in a society of just the most awful, horrible, um, heartless, cruel people that have no capacity to care about anyone else. Uh, what, how do you make sense of all this? Well, on one hand, I think the government wants to make sure that their image... Uh, you know, the, the, they they look good, um, but on the other hand, uh, I think there's more to the story, and they go together. It's not an either or situation. It's a typical textbook narcissism. Uh, I look good while victimizing you, and so. The answer to all these questions is found in the book Rape of the Mind. And you can go on YouTube and you can listen to the audio book. I'm on my third read. And it really starts to make sense of our society, unfortunately. Um, it's about torture. Uh, prisons are our concentration camps where we torture people. And we have laws against suicide. We have laws against killing each other. And when you go to jail, everything is designed to keep you from killing yourself. Well, why would that be? Well, because it's psychological torture. Or it's every kind of torture. You know, social deprivation, uh, phys physically torturing you uh, with uh, food that's made of soy and uh, yeah, you go, so you go to the jail and what happens is they take away your shoestrings, your belt, the string from the hood of your hoodie, um, any possible means of killing yourself and if you hang up your towel the hooks uh, droop down they're on a hinge so that you can't create a noose to kill yourself uh, it, the razor that they give you is basically doesn't even work and it's like a little miniature version like a mouse razor and uh it pulls the hair out of your beard, but it, it won't shave you. It's You see why we need to kill people in our society? <clears throat> we just let these people thrive.
So the answer lies in torture. Uh, and a torture does not allow their victim to die. The torture keeps them alive. And even when the victim prays for death, death does not come. I mean, if you start to think of our society like like that, it starts to make a lot of sense, you know, going to work every day is torture. A woman dresses seductively, uh, but then gives you dirty looks. That's torture. It's the left brain. The left brain is sadistic it enjoys sadistic pleasure narcissism dominance over others so I hope that this video helped you make a little more sense of our society. I'm sorry, there's no good news. There's no good news on this channel. And if you wish to have panic attacks, watch more of my videos. Have a good day.